If we are treating somebody with neuropathy who has gone through chemotherapy or perhaps HIV treatment that causes neuropathy, what we can do in Chinese medicine treatment is to use a variety of treatments. And there are some studies that have been done with acupuncture, but very, very few. And I personally don't think that acupuncture alone is the thing to do. I think that we should use a combination of treatments. And so what I will do is use acupuncture and massage, which I think is really important. I think people can learn to do self-massage or partnered massage, as well as having professional massage. We can use moxibustion, which is a Chinese herb, mugwort, which we burn over certain areas. We can also use herbal medicine to help people with neuropathy as well. And so there's some specific herb formulas that we might use depending on the type of neuropathy that a person gets. Now in Chinese medicine, we actually do a differentiation, pattern differentiation. We might find that the neuropathy is different in different people. So we might use different kinds of acupuncture and different types of herbs and perhaps different dietary therapy as well for a person with neuropathy. If we're doing treatment for neuropathy, we might use herbs which we would say in Chinese medicine, tonify the blood, regulate the blood, and may also help with coldness. And so we would use herbs like jishui tung, which is also called chicken blood vine in English. And it is an herb that actually helps to helps the blood to move in, in the vessels, you know, and so one of the things that's important is that we look at, Chinese medicine has very traditional theories about how we look at herbs, but then what, what I will do in, when I'm making an herb formula, let's say I'm designing an herb formula, or if I'm making an herb formula from scratch, what I would look at is how does that herb formula match the person you know, from a Chinese medicine pattern differentiation, and also, what is the Western uh, pharmacology? What is the Western physiology that we are looking at? And then put that together, and then have an herb formula that matches that person. So a lot of times there are herb pills that we might use, or powders that are prepared, and so we want to be able to match the, that particular formula to an individual. So I say if it's 75, 85 percent of the match, that it works very well for that individual. If we want to individualize a formula, perhaps by making powders or by using raw herbs, we can do that as well and we can get a better match. So sometimes what somebody might do who has neuropathy would be they could take herb pills at some point, and sometimes they'll, they'll take the raw herb formulas. We might even have herbs that you can warm up and actually soak your feet in. So that would be another way of being able to help somebody with neuropathy for foot neuropathy or soak their hands, you know, for hand neuropathy.